The headlines, Manipur to Inc. MOU with National Institute of Mountaineering and Adventure Sports, NIMAS, on development of adventure sports, says Minister of Youth Affairs and Sport, Govindas Kuntaljam. COVID-19 naging aktok na ba? Miyam na sapo na to'y nakut hambiw. To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Max ning tina, niyong chum na upiw. Whenever you go out of your house, wear mask properly. Amadi, mi amaga, mi amaga gimarakta, fit taduklap na hambiw. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Hello and very good afternoon. This is ISTV English News at 4 and you're with me, Darlung Shankali, giving you the news in detail. Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Govindas Kontaljum said Manipur to Inc. MOU with National Institute of Mountaineering and Adventure Sports, NIMAS, on development of adventure sports soon. He made a statement at the opening of two-day paramotor gliding organized as part of Sangai Festival. Director of Youth Affairs and Sports, T. Pulen Mite, Brand Ambassador of Sangai Festival, actor Soma Lystrom, Office Barriers of NIMAS and MMTA2 graced the occasion held at the ground of North Imphal Sporting Union at Luang Sangbam. Minister Govindas Kontausum continued that under the leadership of Minister Chief Minister N. B. Rain, arrangements have been made to expedite the signing of DMOU. He also expressed hope that the festival, which is being held under theme under the theme Festival of Oneness, will bring more development and harmony in the state. He also called this year's Sangai Festival as the biggest festival of the state and said the festival was held in grandeur and success manner with the overwhelming support of the public, government officials and media person. Later, Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Govindas Kontaljum opened the demonstration of paramotor gliding. Minister of Defense MOU is a sign to the MMT. Manipur government is a sign to the MMT. The Manipur government is a sign to the MMT. The Manipur government is a sign to the MMT. The Manipur government is a sign to the MMT. The Manipur government is a sign to the MMT. The Manipur government is a sign Adventure sports, Manipur, Mukahan and Tizan promote Toba, going on Gani Hadana, Ayadmana Tanjani, Aduga, a going a Sigi motor gliding high tariff, Massi motor gliding, see a quick loan Southerni, Massi Mayam in Joy to you, Massisuma Telamani, Nadana, Aswanga Miaugana, Tizana, loan Toba, Ado Nambo is a gay Hadana, he showed the Kurum Devoga, a Medeagi, a Maru Pampuna, and a Senapati District Olympic Association Manipur Golden Jubilee come Olympic Games under the theme Rise and Shine held at Gaton May Senapati hosted by Gaton Lee concluded on Monday with Minister Works and Yas Govindas Kontaljum gracing the valedictory function as the chief guest. Minister Govindas Kontaljum in his address said that the players must play with discipline and with their utmost skill to bring laurel to other state and country. He reminded the sports persons that Manipur is often termed as powerhouse of sports in the country and are blessed with coming up of sports university in the state which is the lone sports university in the country minister said he has approached union minister for development of sports infrastructure in the state as well as in the district he informed that gathering that in i league 50 players are from manipur and urged to follow their footstep Minister is sure to make volleyball and basketball court in Senapati district and also to do renovation at mini stadium for badminton and table tennis. He also is sure to blacktop the road from Senapati town to Katonmai village very soon. Minister appealed the gathering to join hand and heats together for any development activities in the district and state. In the final football match, Maram defeated Zelengrong by a 2-1. Pomay tribe a top in the medal tally with a 29 medal including 13 gold, 9 silver, 7 bronze, 
Maram attained a 25 medals including 5 gold, 6 silver, 14 bronze. Mao tribe attained a 24 medals including 9 gold, 10 silver, 5 bronze. Zelengrong attained a 5 medals including 1 gold, 3 silver, 1 bronze and Tangal 1 bronze. You know, Golden Jubilee come Olympic Games, which was open on 23rd of November, which coincides with one of the biggest festival of Shanghai, with a beautiful theme of Festival of Oneness. And the Sanapati District Olympic Association organized this mega event with a beautiful theme of Rise and Sign. We normally call the youths are the pillar. We need to groom the youths, either in education or sports. In connection with the startup roadshow organized by Manipur Technology Innovation Hub MTI Hub Manipur International University hosted six roadshow at its premises located at Ghari. Officials of MTU Hub, university lecturers and PhD scholars conducted an interaction program. Chancellor of Manipur International University, Dr. Hari Kumar P. too spoke about the university. One-stop incubation solution offered by MTI Hub to startups in electronics and IT sectors was also highlighted during the interaction. Under the sponsorship of Central Institute of Agriculture, Medzif and Dimapur CIH, two days Farmers Awareness Program on Production Technology and Value Chain Development of Horticulture, organized by Rural Auxiliary for People's Action, RAPA, Lamdang Nashikong Lekai, began at Ingorok Community Hall. The awareness program was held especially for the farmers of Ingorok Village of Thobal District and Soton Village of Kamjong District. District Officer for Horticulture and Soil Conservation, Thobal Mutum Nabachandra, Vice President of RAPA, El Roman Mete, Marketing Specialist of CIH, Prabin Das, former Chief of Sotun Village, P. Thanmi, and President of Ingorok Youth Club, M. Ibotom, were also present at the program as the main guest. Speaking on the occasion, a Secretary of Rapa, El Subas, said earlier farmers were unable to enhance production without the use of new and advanced technology. The awareness program aimed at addressing the woes faced by farmers by replacing old age tradition with modern technologies to boost crop production. From a farm manager of a KVK Thobal, Dr. W. G. Dain spoke on crop residence management as a nutrition source for organic farming. Dr. R. K. Lembisana of SMS Home Science, a KVK Thobal, spoke on the value addition of seasonal fruits and SMS plant protection. El Borish KVK Thobal delivers speech on integrated pest and disease management of vegetable crops. Relay hunger strike of all Manipur, uh, all Manipur Health Service Doctors Association continues at District Hospital Senapati on Tuesday. Relay hunger strike of AMHSTA started since November 26 and had organized such a relay hunger strike at different districts of the state. Addressing media person, District Leprosy Officer Senapati, Dr. Ngauniba Peter said it was unfortunate that the state government has failed to pay heed to their demands in spite of putting up different forms of agitations. The doctor mentioned that relay hunger strike is the third form of the agitation after the AMHSTA put on black batches and sit in protest to press their demands. As the government has declared that medical service is essential, he urged the government to consider their demands as essential also and appeal to fulfill their demands at the earliest. Clear that medical services is essential and therefore we appeal to the government concern to consider our demands also as essential and we appeal to the government to fulfill our demands at the earliest possible. The doctors under the association should not be made to take a stronger form of agitation. And therefore, it is our earnest request and prayer to the government that they give a serious consideration to our demands and fulfill them at the earliest possible time. 
as part of the All Manipur Health Service Doctors Association Relay Hunger Strike, which kicked on to, uh, kick off on November 26 at the state capital. Doctors under CMO Kangpokpi also held a relay hunger strike at District Hospital Campus Kangpokpi. Speaking to media person MHSTA executive member representing Kangpokpi District, Dr. Bautinlan Haukip, while conveying as to why the doctors' agitation under the AGs of the All Manipur Health Service Doctors Association has reached such an extreme stage that said that appeals, representations, personal meeting with CM, ministers, etc. for more than two years had been unfruitful. He also said that democratic forms of agitation such as black batch for five days, sit-in protests in all 16 districts of the state and even suspension of the proposed one-day OPD closure on November 19 have no positive outcome which eventually led to such an extreme stage. He further said that after the relay hunger strike, mass casual leave will be the next cause of agitation. Not happy with the alleged Manipur government's apathy and demeaning of its doctors, the All Manipur Health Service Doctors Association had decided to launch the relay hunger strike following the resolutions adopted in its emergency general body meeting held on November 22 at Imphal. The relay hunger strike will be conducted by all 16 districts with three districts each at a time. A publicity program on the theme, a one-day integrated communication and outreach program ICOP on Azadika Amrit Mahotsav, eight years of Seva, Suhasan and Garib Kalyan Vision 2047 development initiatives in northeastern India's G20 presidency was organized by Central Bureau of Communication Regional Office Imphal. The program was held as part of the 10-day integrated communication and outreach program with a photo exhibition. Speaking Speaking as resource persons, Assistant Professor of Department of History, GP Women College, and Manglem Sanbi Mete pointed out that Hijam Irabot, who fought against the British in Manipur, remained an unsung hero of the India's freedom struggle. Director General Northeast Zone, Minister of Information and Broadcasting, and Narayanan informed that audience that many events of India's G20 presidency will be held in Manipur. Prizes were distributed of inter school chess competition competition, essay competition, painting competition, extempore speech contest, written quiz competition. No Nonei Battalion of Assam Rifles under the AGs of Headquarters 22 Sector Assam Rifles and Inspector General of Assam Rifles East organized a career counseling program at Sunbird School, Kungbong Village. The awareness program was organized by Platoon Operating Base Kungbong to generate awareness about the Indian Armed Forces. As part of the program, an informal lecture followed by an interactive session was also conducted. The team of Kungbong Platoon Operating Base shared that experience with youth students, young students and made the event more interactive by clarifying all the queries raised by the students regarding the procedure to join the Indian Army, Assam Rifles and other CAPF as a career option. Luke Anand Ketrimayum, who backed the first runner-up title at the grand finale of the 14th Mr. International 2022 event held in Philippines, was felicitated by Naikalong Pai and Youth Club at Naikalong. Elderly residents of Naikalong Kun attended the program as the president, presidium members. Luke Anand Ketrimayum was honored with traditional gifts and certificates by the Youth Club. Family of Luke Anand too gifted the local elders with Mite Yong. One of the elders stated that showcasing the unity of the land, Nekalong Pai and Youth Club organized the felicitation program of Lukan and Kedrimayum. He expressed happiness over Lukan and interacting with residents of the village and hoped that it would bring strength and the love and harmony among people. Luke Anand Ketrimayum too expressed a thankfulness to Nekalong Pai and Youth Club for honoring him with gifts and warm welcome. Now it's time for a short break. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Winky Swiss Rolls with rich strawberry cream and jam. Rolled with love, the Winky way. Also an exotic chocolate, twisty choco orange and real Alfonso. True over Winky Swiss Rolls. Winky's the cake specialist. Hello and welcome back. Let's look at some international news. 
In a major crackdown on gangster terror networks, a national investigation agency NIA launched multiple raids on Tuesday morning in Delhi, Haryana and other states. Officials aware of the matter said the raids, of which were also reported in locations across Punjab and Rajasthan, come after the Central Prop Agency took custody of three gangsters last week. Lawrence Bisnoi, Navin Dabas and Sunil Balian Elias Tilu Tajpuria. Last month, a similar multi-state crackdown was launched by the central agency in a bid to intensify propped into the nexus. More than 50 locations in Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan, among other states, were raided to get details on gangsters linked to terrorists and drug traffickers. In Rajasthan, the crackdown was reported at the premises of Sampat Nehru of Churu, while in Punjab, premises of advocate Gupreet Singh Sidhu, Kabadi promoter Jaga, Jaga Jandian and elite gangster Jaman Singh were reportedly searched. China has a tightened security with heavy police deployment in several cities on Monday, including Beijing and Shanghai, where thousands of people took part in protests in past a few days against harsh COVID-19 curbs, lockdowns and quarantines, restrictions on freedoms and ensuring heavy-handed treatment of citizens. China's zero COVID policy, policy has un unpended the lives of millions of citizens, hit their employment and incomes and slowed down the economy of past uh, three years. There was no official information on how many people were detained after this spontaneous. Demonstrations were held across China showing rare unity in opposing the harsh zero COVID-19 policy through means of civil disobedience and expressing their resentment exasperation and anger. According to media reports, police used a pepper spray against protesters in Shanghai and struggled to suppress demonstrations in other cities, including Beijing. That's all we have for today. Before we wind up, the headlines once again. Manipur to Inc. MOU with National Institute of Mountaineering and Adventure Sports, NUMAS, on development of adventure sports, says Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports, Govindas Kontautam. Thank you for watching ISTV English News at 4. I'll be back with more details at 8 p.m. Goodbye for now.